Well, I'm sure this won't get any hate. While The Way of Water doesn't feature cerebral themes that challenge a viewer, or really make you think deeply regarding the current climate of society, it just makes me feel like a kid at the movies again. I know everyone is probably going to disagree with me on this pick, but I can't help it. I absolutely love this film. Maybe it was the magical experience I had watching this movie with my family, who I only get to see about once a year, as we were all transported to Pandora together. Or maybe it was the experience I had in a theater that felt so reviving after the last couple years of limited cinema experiences and big releases. Or maybe it's actually a pretty good film. Avatar The Way of Water is one of the most unique and magical experiences you can have in a movie theater. And in the current climate of everything directly onto streaming for our at-home viewing pleasure, this film shows us the pure magic of going to the cinema. Pandora looks beyond amazing. It's filled with beautiful detail, dazzling visuals, and wonderfully creative designs for almost everything within it. The best part? Pandora is a living, breathing character in the film, and the connection the Na'vi have to their planet is a special aspect of this franchise. James Cameron proved all the doubters wrong with this film. I mean, unless you look on Twitter, then you would think this is the worst film ever made. Yes, even worse than this. Everyone who said this franchise is horrible, it's too late for a sequel, or thought this would bomb at the box office, were once again proven wrong by one of the greatest filmmakers and innovators in cinema history. When I first watched The Way of Water, I was blown away by the stunning effects work, whether it be the unbelievable CGI or the beautiful performance capture work. I was blown away by the aesthetic of Pandora and just how gorgeous it all looked. The underwater scenes felt so magical, I felt as if I was a kid again in the theater exploring this new world. When I first watched the film, I couldn't get over the cinematography, beautiful shot selection, and jaw-dropping backgrounds everywhere you look around in Pandora. I mean the cutting edge underwater technology, the next level CGI, and the wonderful performance capture was truly amazing. However, while all of that remains true, after watching this film a second time, I fell in love with the emotional side of the movie. I fell in love with the Sully family, and the Reef people, and the beautiful cultural representation present in this awe-inspiring world. I realized the simple, yet beautiful story about family is more touching than I had originally thought. What it means to be a family and how far one will go to protect it is a beautiful theme present throughout. The inclusion of the storylines regarding being an outcast and struggling to be accepted by new people, or even your own family, was really touching. The commentary on our oceans and how humans mistreat it is polarizing to watch. The scene in which they hunt down the whale thing is devastating but is also filled with so much nuance if you're willing to look for it. The commentary on science and monetary gain when it comes at the cost of wildlife is fascinating and a bit saddening to say the least. I just love this world and Cameron has a way of making you feel like you are there with the Na'vi as opposed to just watching entertainment. This is what the magic of the movies is about. Furthermore, Zoe Saldana's performance is Oscar worthy in my opinion. I know she won't get it, but she delivers a gut-wrenching performance and is tasked with many of the tough, emotional scenes within the film. She wears the intrinsic nature of being a protective mother on her sleeve, and the subtle looks she gives to Jake when their family is in danger is so well done and emotional. Her outcries when leaving the forest people or when dealing with loss in her family are truly heartbreaking. I love the moments when she's discussing with Jake that they're a family, not a military team, and seeing their ideologies collide is fascinating. I love the way she moves and is incredibly terrifying when taking out Quaritch's team of soldiers, which is an amazing action sequence by the way. Also, she wasn't bluffing right when holding that knife to Spider? because I don't think she has too much fondness for humans and was more than willing to trade a son for a son. Natiri is an amazing character with many layers and Saldana is a revelation in the role in my opinion. I also love the camaraderie between the family as a whole and the little comical moments like Jake asking his son how the other guys look after the fight between the Sully brothers and the Reef bros. I loved the introduction of the Reef people and the vibe of the entire island region of Pandora. And could we talk about how special that moment in the climax of the film is with Kitty helping her mom through the horrifying moment as the Sully family is running out of time in their perilous situation? Running out of oxygen, telling her to breathe as it syncs up with Jake being helped by his son. Also helping him with breathing techniques he has learned from the Reef people just breathe. It's a beautiful moment that's capped off with the inspiring speech of water bringing dark to light as the glowing fish guide the path to survival for the family. The kids return the favor and were finally able to save their parents this time. The action is amazing throughout, whether it's the train takedown at the beginning of the film or the all-out war of the third act. I mean the shot of Sully heading toward the demon ship by himself is as epic as epic gets. Oh and I could watch Ntiri take out people with her bow all day long. Cameron shoots the action in a riveting and beautiful fashion that even adds character development with their varying fighting strategies and skills. Also, spoilers if you haven't seen it, but the very end as Jake and the Teary say their goodbyes to their son is an emotional gut punch and a truly touching moment. I love the theme of trying to live up to your parents, dealing with being an outcast, and just the importance of family as a whole. I know people love to hate this franchise, but Avatar The Way of Water is a magical experience. It transported me to another place like no other movie did this year.
What you just watched is a snippet from my top 10 movies of 2022 video right here on my channel. Find out where this movie among others rank in a fun and entertaining video. Let me know all your thoughts down below, hit that like and subscribe button, don't be a bystander. Peace.